Hello YouTube friends and followers. Here's another view of the ML320, ML500 ABS controller. This is a an ML500, a 2005. So, as you probably know from watching my previous videos, if you cared to, my tale of woe was I cross-threaded that small pipe right there. So the small pipe in the viewer, I cross-threaded it and I basically then re-threaded it to what I thought was straight using a, um, a brake line coupler or brake lined end and a socket wrench and simply got that thing re-threaded. Then I got some liquid wrench. Yeah, I know. It doesn't mix a brake fluid, but I got some liquid wrench in there and I blew all the shavings out of it. And so that might be enough. Now the trick is to get this thing back in here the right way. This is in a corner and there's air conditioning there and it's hard to get it figured out what goes in straight. However, it was dark last night. It's uh, not dark, so maybe if I have half a wit in my head and I do things when it's light out, it'll work. Okay, well, huh, I hope this works out this time. If it doesn't, I gotta put the old brake controller back in and perhaps move the board, move the module off this one onto the old one, which would fix the old one actually, and the old one has a good ABS body on it that I didn't destroy yet, so. Ah, that's about it. When I tighten down my um, my feeding bolt that I put in here, my feeding nut, it worked out pretty good. In fact, let me find that little nut I used. It's just a regular brake end. Okay, here it is. Here's how I did it again. So to help people that might be having a tough time with this, you never want to cross thread these things. If you can't hand tighten them in, or if, if you got to tighten them in tight, they're 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 re-threading your socket. They're they're re-threading re threads. So don't do that. Um, it has to be really easy to go in. So I simply use this guy, which is a standard uh, M10 by 1.0 pitch thread. And you can see the uh, the grit on the threads in this thing where it was doing some re-threading. The bottom doesn't look packed up too bad, so maybe maybe the mating surface is okay. That's the real worry, is, is you want this thing to mate well. Well, actually, the tube, the actual brake, brake line tube has a flare on it, so what am I talking about? Anyway, yeah, I just had a thing in the socket, and I put paper in the socket to hold it tight and bashed it a bit on the ground to get it in there and then used that as a, uh, a tap and die. And that's what I did, so anyway. Now I'm going to try to put the thing back in the right way. Let's see what happens and see if it doesn't leak. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.